Hello budget people, welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video, I'll be closing down my budget for the month of June. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we are just going to close down our monthly budget. Those of you who have been following me for a while, you may know that I create a monthly budget just to have a monthly overview of all of my expenses and all of my um, income. But because I receive income also on a weekly basis, I do a weekly budget as well. I do budget quite a lot throughout the month, but I think this is the best way for me. Some people just have one budget and they stick to that throughout the month, but for me, I find it works best doing it this way. So I'm going to close down my overall budget and you'll definitely see the changes between my weekly and my monthly budget. So starting with my, my actual income, this is the actual amount of money that came into my account for the whole month. I do put down my actuals on a weekly basis as well. So my actual pay for my full-time job will go in here. And as far as variable income, so housekeeping that I get from my son, anything that I do on the side, I group them into a category called various. I haven't included my variable income as far as my Etsy shop or tuition because obviously I'm not tutoring at the moment. I haven't included any of those it's into various, but these are all other sources of income that I have coming into the house on a monthly basis. So I've added those in as well. And you can see that we were really, really close to our predicted amounts. We, we had um, a slightly higher amount come in for our full-time pay and we had a higher amount for our various income as well. So taking you down to our expenses. So my fixed expenses as, the title says they're fixed, so the numbers that I put down were the exact numbers that came out. This can change, and because I track these on a weekly basis as well, if they do change, I do put the actual figure, or I would put the actual figure in that section there as to how much I actually spent. Moving on to variable expenses, obviously these things are variable, so they do vary. Um, my food budget, we used all of the money that I put into my groceries envelope. I actually had to dip into my household envelope, which bought me um, over the £20 mark. I was hoping that I could roll over £20 of that into next month's budget, but these things happen. So we were left with £10 and nine pence in there. The nine pence will probably go into my change jar. And then fuel, we had a budget of £50, but we went over by 50 So in total, we actually spent £100 for that. I'm just going to put my totals down and then come back to go through the breakdown for the month. Okay, so I've put down all of my totals. I'm just going to run through my breakdown. So my total income for the month was 2,000, 2,458.37. And then we had our total bills. So we've got 2,088.46 plus 289.91 and that will give us 2,378.37. I'm just going to subtract my bills from my income. Which will give me £80 exactly. Okay guys, so I started to get a bit excited then because I thought I had money left over, which didn't actually make sense bearing in mind that I actually went over budget 
with petrol and stuff. So I figured out where I went wrong. So it was my sinking fund amount. So I actually put the extra money that I got from here into my sinking funds a couple of weeks ago. So I hadn't changed the original amount that I had budgeted to put into my sinking funds. So it should make sense now. Um, I probably will move sinking funds into variable expenses next month, just in case I do get any extra money like I did on that week. And then I can obviously amend it as I go forward. It's, it's re it should be a fixed expense. I'm trying to obviously be um, sensible when it comes to saving and not try and push myself to do things that are unrealistic. Unre but I was able to put some extra money in that week. So I think I'll move it into variable expenses moving forward. So our income is 2,458.37, but our bills came to 2,413.37. So I'm just gonna subtract those two. So we should have £45 left over, which makes a lot more sense for me. OK, OK, so moving on to our sinking funds. So I'm just going to bring out my sinking fund organiser and run through my closing balances for this month. OK, so in terms of money going out, so we had two transactions for money leaving our sinking funds this month. One was for my personal sinking fund and that was for £98. And then the second one was for my pet sinking fund and that was for £50. The rest of them we didn't touch, they stay the same so in total we spent 148 pounds from our sinking fund so minus 148 pounds okay so let's go through our closing balances we have allotment which has 60 pounds we have Car tax, which has £50. We have car maintenance, which is up to £250 now. Um, car insurance has £520. We have our gifts, which has £60. Our pet fund now has £50. And Jada, my eldest daughter, has £100. And then we have Nevea, my youngest, who has £160. So one. Okay, and then our personal has £32. And my son has £60. And then my water fund has 80 So we can put our organiser away. Our total co closing balance is £1,297. So not too far away from 1300 at all. One, two, nine, seven. Okay, so that is the end of June. So June has been closed down fully. Um, I hope this video was useful. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, so you are kept up to date with all of my latest videos. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Have a good day.